Hi Dr. Nisha, my relative underwent stereotactic body radiotherapy or radio surgery treatment for lung cancer. What is its role? Stereotactic body radiotherapy or SBRT is also known as stereoablative radiotherapy or SABR. This is a technique wherein we deliver large amount of doses that is ablative amount of doses to the tumor over one to five sittings or even six or seven sittings in a highly precise and accurate way. This technique has been made possible because of the advancement in the technology that has happened in the radiation field in terms of imaging and in terms of image verifications and also the execution of treatment. This is a perfect solution for early stage lung cancer patients who are very old or who have multiple health conditions like cardiac or cerebral conditions who are not able to undergo surgery and who are not able to bear the brunt of anesthesia. So the SBRT procedure can be done in a patient who has got an advanced cardiac condition or maybe a poor lung reserve or a cerebral condition, whatever be it, if the patient is able to lie down on the couch comfortably for around 45 minutes to one hour, SBRT can be done. When I say very high dose, it means that we usually deliver two gray per sitting in a conventional radiation therapy. But in SPRT, we give around 7 gray or 10 gray or even 30 grays in a single sitting in a very precise and accurate fashion. Results of this technique is almost at par with surgery, but it cannot replace surgery. Surgery still remains a gold standard for early stage lung cancer. But it, the results are almost as good as surgery and it is painless. It requires no anesthesia, there is no incision and it can be done as an OPD procedure with minimal side effects. SBRT can be either done with something known as a linear accelerator, which is a machine that is used to deliver the SBRT or by using cyber knife. What we have in our institute is an HT Versa linear accelerator. And with this machine, we have been able to deliver SBRT in a very successful way with minimal side effects. Let me tell you the step-by-step -step workflow of SBRT in my institute. After pre-treatment workup, we'll be taking the patient up for the CT simulation like I said in my last video. During this simulation and planning process, we will make an immobilization device and we will also be employing some breath control technique like ABC that I talked about in the last video. The immobilization device will be made to make sure that your position is reproducible and the motion during the treatment is minimal. Then we will acquire a scan with the patient in the treatment position. This plan is for calculation purposes and the doctor will be marking the organs that is at risk, that is the normal organs and the target as well. The doctor along with the physicist will chart out a plan which delivers maximum dose to the tumor and minimal dose to the adjoining tissues. So SBRT differs from the conventional treatment techniques in the sense that the dose follow-up is sudden. That is, you will have a 100% in the inside of the tumor and just outside the tumor, it will reduce to a few percentage. And within one centimeter of the tumor, the dose will be almost nil. Many a times, instead of the planning CT scan, we use a planning PET CT to increase the accuracy of the tumor marking. On the day of the treatment, the patient will be lying down in the exact same position with the exact immobilization technique that was used and whatever breathing technique that has been used during the planning CT scan. We will take an image to verify the patient position and the treatment is done along with the ABC procedure. SBRT is very well tolerated with minimal or no side effects at all and latest studies indicates that SBRT can offer a local control and a disease survival that is almost equivalent to surgery.